If you've ever had the unfortunate experience of having to replace an outdoor faucet or to repair the plumbing just inside of your building envelope here, you know how much of a pain point this is because in normal plumbing systems, there is no give when it comes to this. However, that's not the case in this home. And today, I wanna to show you how you can do this to your home. So here's the magic behind what you just saw outside. And watch while you can see that we're servicing this line outside and it contracts and then the PEX re-expands to its original loop. So this could be considered a PEX expansion loop as well. And we're using specifically Upinor's PEX A because of all the different kinds of PEX, PEX A is the most flexible of PEX products out there. Now you might be saying to yourself, that's great, but I have copper or CPVC. And that's okay, because you can put a transition between whatever plumbing supply you have into PEX. Now let's quickly go over what it is to build this. You can see the incoming supply is coming in and it's going through a PVC sleeve along with a PVC clean out and additional PVC, uh, just a little extension here. And the purpose is twofold. This both protects it as well as guides. And you can also see that there are talon hooks of which the incoming line is secured with the talon hooks. And then the talon hooks on this side are turned to the side to use as a guide. We want to keep the pecs in the middle of this, this framing stud because let's say we want to hang something on this side of the wall and a nail goes through. If it's maintained inside of the middle of the wall, it's less likely that the supply line is pierced. So that's a protective measure as well. Ideally, you would want to put this in a two by six wet wall in the interior. You would have even more buffer from anything incoming. But as the case may be in this house, this is two by four construction. This is a remodel. We're trying to work with what we have already in place. And that also leads into the next point is this is a one story home. Right now you're looking in from the kitchen and you're looking into the laundry room. It's doable because we have a perpendicular wall that we're hiding this in along with a bay that has enough space. So as you can see that even with a one story house, it's it's something that's actually doable, but in, if you have a basement where your, where your hose bib could go out of anywhere, uh, if it's an unfinished basement, or you're able to put the hose bib up in a ceiling cavity where you can, you can choose exactly where you want it to go. Here, we are a little more limited, but it's something you'll have a little more flexibility in a side of a basement, but it's still doable in a single story home. Here's a close up at the PEX maintenance loop here. You can see the talons in place coming in from above. There's another talon that we have holding it in place. It loops around. And then exits. If you're looking at this video because you had the unfortunate incident of having a a pipe freeze just behind the wall here. You're already doing drywall repairs. You're opening up things inside. Opening it up a little bit more in order to put a PEX maintenance loop might be something that you're interested in. So you don't have to do this later. If you don't have, you wouldn't experience the same problems later where you can just pull the line out and then push it back in. You're also probably looking at a frost free hose bib so you don't have a freezing problem within the walls. We like using the Aquar House Hydrant, the V2 version. It is a frost-free hose bib. You can see that the water, it extends fully into the house and the water gets cut off back here when you disconnect the water hose. It's also anti-siphoning. It doesn't allow any water to get sucked back into your clean water supply. It's also pretty slick, low profile, nothing can catch when you are walking back and forth, let's say, on a porch or some other high traffic area. In any case, whatever frost-free hose bib you choose, 
if you're already putting something like that in there, you probably have enough space for an expansion loop. Or likewise, if you're considering putting an expansion loop to make your life easier later, then you have enough room for a frost, a longer frost-free hose bib. So I hope that this is a valuable thing that you can use inside of a, a, a house that you're planning on building or a, a remodel or a repair that you're doing right now. If you do like this information, please hit subscribe to support more videos like this. And if you do this yourself, if you use this or put a loop in, please come back and share your experience in the comments below. I'll see you in the next video.